We had been in Japan for about a year, and we had just been called as stake missionaries for the church. And Selden had the most wonderful companion, Saito Kyodai, that we got to be very close friends with. And he had invited us to go on a trip with him through the countryside up to a cabin that his company had. And so we excitedly prepared and met him at the Shibuya station and then got on an express train that went to Chino. It took about four hours to get there. The train ride was incredible. We both were just ooing and aahing about everything that was so beautiful in Japan. There were beautiful rice paddies and, and uh, the fields were laid out like a patchwork quilt. It was, it was absolutely beautiful and we really enjoyed that trip in. When we got there, we took a taxi that went up into the mountains and found the cabin that we were supposed to stay in, but unfortunately it hadn't been opened yet. And so we went, took the taxi back down a little ways and stayed at an inn that night. Very interesting for us because we first time we'd been on to Tommy Matt's and slept with a rice-filled pillow for our pillow, and uh, it was all very exciting and all very new. And in the morning, we got up and had a breakfast that was also very new and exciting. It ha we had raw eggs and rice and uh, mizu soup and some little fish with big eyes and, <laughs> and, a, uh, and actually a bowl of fried grasshoppers. So Selden was absolutely delighted to eat all of that, including the grasshoppers, but I refused the grasshoppers. <laughs> So we decided to go for a walk that day, and we walked, hiked up into the mountains, and on the way up, Selden turned to me and said, I've got something stuck in my teeth. And so he's come and see what that is. He'd actually picked up a little stick and put it in his mouth, but he pulled it out, and he says, oh, it's a grasshopper leg. So he had fun all the time. We had a good laugh about that. But at the top of the hill, we came to a beautiful uh, grove of aspen trees and it was just the perfect spot for him. I told him to climb up into the tree and let me get a good shot of him. And so we have a picture of that and Carrie made a nice big picture that hangs in our wall and so it's one that we've really enjoyed and a delightful memory of Selden. <laughs>